the time was flying red air. Yeah. Uh, so we went on all the exercises of people that came in, uh, come to us and we showed them how to defeat the MiG-29. First we hit their butts and then we showed them how to defeat it. And uh, that was great. And uh, uh, for, for performance wise, I mean it was an ING aircraft. Feeling wise, I would say the Eurofighter has about 10% more thrust. On the paper it has more. Mm -hmm. But feeling wise, it's not that big of a difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, I still do some moves which is not out of the handbook, but I, I can still do with the Eurofighter that I learned on a MiG-29 mm -hmm. and that surprises young guys uh, all of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I fly to BFM, for example, differently than most people and they have to have time to cope with that. Um, uh, and I learned that on a MiG-29. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you hit the rudder in a MiG-29, you can do a hammerhead. If you do that in a Eurofighter, <laughs> the machine started thinking and probably says, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that is that is the extreme of the Eurofighter. If you uh, normally you don't know that the computer is flying in the jet. If you go to extremes, if you go into slow flights and you do want to do fu funky things, mo most of the time a care carefree uh, 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 lady takes takes over, uh, or at least starts warning you, or it's just not doing it. Uh, and it says if you if you put the stick off, put it to the left and hit the rudder. It says okay, you put in the stick first, so that's probably your highest priority. It gives you a maximum G's and a little bit less roll. If you roll in first and you pull in the stick, it will roll quicker you get a and, fast roll. Okay. Uh, and stuff like that. It, it sounds uh, uh, artificial, it doesn't feel artificial, but if you go to the extremes, it's just, just what happens.